Hi everybody, it's Lenny Colacino from Beatles Bass Bootcamp. Today I want to talk about the two types of strings you usually find on the modern bass guitar. The one I'm holding, my Hofner left-handed model, is strung with pyramid flat-wound pure nickel strings, or pyramid goals as they're commonly referred to. And on my other bass, my Ibanez by Soundgear, or is it Soundgear by Ibanez? I have round-wound strings, and we'll talk about that in a little while, but first, let's get started by talking about this, the Hofner bass guitar, okay? This is my Hofner left-handed bass, which I purchased in the late 90s. It's a reissue of Paul's bass from the 1962-63 model. While all Hofners are unique, this one is pretty close to Paul's in color and appearance. What I've done is replace the factory installed pickups with vintage pickups, which are dated in the same year actually as McCartney's original bass. And the control panel also is vintage from 1963. So I've done this in order to approximate Paul's sound as closely as possible. A word about Paul's settings on his Hofner bass. If you can see the control panel here, what Paul employs always and since the day he bought his Hofner is he has the neck pickup on and the solo switch on. This pickup, the bridge pickup, is hardly ever used in achieving Paul's sound. Now I'm going to demonstrate the sound of the Hofner with these flat wound strings using a pick on a song called Love Me Do. to play the same song but only on this bass and I think you'll notice that the sound is very different. As you can tell, that sounds quite a bit different. If I play a note without the music, you can tell that the sustain, that is how long the note lasts, is quite a bit different on this guitar. You'll notice it doesn't decay as much and the tone is quite different. But there is a little trick you can use, which I'm going to show you now, that will help you get the sound you want. What are these things you might ask? Well, they're Pretty common things, right? This is uh, blue tape, most often used when painting. Okay, well, what does this have to do with a guitar? Well, I'll get to that. Also, this, what is this? It's a piece of felt. Hmm, felty. Uh, I got this at a fabric store for under a dollar, okay? Not a big investment involved here. But with these two items, you can make what is commonly known as a mute. So what I've done, folks, is construct a very rudimentary and not very attractive mute here. Uh, you may have more room on your bass, be it a Fender or any other variety of bass, but just a simple piece of felt. <laughs> I've applied this crudely made mute to the guitar, usually between the bridge and the first pickup is where it is most effective. And by doing this, I have put the felt over the strings to mute the sound, that is, make them less sustained. I know it's not fancy or even attractive, but it does help you achieve the sound you want to get. So now I'm going to play the same part I did on the Hofner on this bass, which has round wound strings, but employing the mute to try and approximate the same sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
I did notice a big difference. What I did was not only did I employ this mute over the strings to kind of deaden that sound, I also anchored my wrist on top of them. So instead of that very long sustain, what you get now is this. You notice the decay is quite precipitous. And you don't get that metallic sustainy sound. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you found this little tutorial fun and enjoyable. Stay tuned for more videos and be sure to follow me on Facebook at Beatles Bass Bootcamp. See you soon.